the idea came up that we would do an art tour to source inspiration, I thought it was a really cool exercise, something that I had not considered doing before. It's a very different uh, approach to it to get inspired by art and uh, approaching your food like that. Working in the Short North Arts District, I'm always at the restaurant, so I don't always get a chance to immerse myself in it. We went to five galleries. The interaction was really cool to listen to the different disciplines, like people that were doing pastry and how they interpreted the, the exercise was different than I did as thinking of more of on a savory level. We arrived at the Pizzuti Gallery where I drew most of my inspiration and I think there the bright colors triggered some uh, ingredient inspirations. Kind of has the same color as raw tuna. Like this I just thought was so organic. That has something to it, I just need more time in my mind to think through it. The same buzzwords that you refer to with food are the same buzzwords that I took away from galleries, where it's textures, colors, whether it's different flavor profiles for the, for the dishes that we're using. We are working in a really, really cool industry that we have an opportunity to use those and put them on a plate and not necessarily put them up on a piece of canvas. The whole collection and then the way they were pieced and they were all different. And that gives me freedom as a pastry artist to like do a little bit different with each thing. They were like all love and togetherness and stuff. I don't know, like when I think of baked goods, that's honestly what I right. think of. Like. His whole aesthetic is about nothing that the, the universe gives us is junk. We can say the same with an ingredient, or, or an, like if you take an animal and use every part. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a challenge. <laughs> the more that I'm looking at the pieces. And then as I worked through the day, I saw like a piece of wood, it just for some reason reminded me of a parsnip. I saw a giant black necklace that made me think of spheres, so we've done some things with spherification. One painting is, a, is a, almost like one ingredient. It's, it's really a, as collaborative as this event is, it was a collaboration of art that brought the plate together for me. The one that inspired me was a, what seemed like an empty rustic wood picnic table. I always view cooking and plates as an empty canvas. Um, and so that's definitely a, a little hint of what I view that empty table as. It's an empty canvas to fill it full of bountiful array of different meats and garnishes and you will definitely be able to know that it is from the pearl and the identity will be intact. Being able to tie art into the food aspect of tonight's event was something that I thought was very important to showcase both uh, as being very important parts of the Short North culture is both food and art. But I mean, it's, it's definitely great to uh, support the community, get to get to know other chefs. I mean, beautiful art, beautiful area, beautiful community. It, I mean, how can you not be inspired to be a chef in this community? In, in support of all of what we're doing, it's only possible because of you guys all being here. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming to the Short North Gala. And uh, I am honored and privileged to be serving you fantastic food and uh, enjoy yourselves.